Senator Santorum was a member of the Gang of Seven that exposed the congressional banking and congressional post office scandals. Senator, what should the president's role be in determining abortion policy in America? I believe that the Supreme Court of the United States has abused its authority most recently in the, uh, in the gay marriage case. Uh, Justice Roberts said it best. There was no constitutional basis for this decision. They also said that the same case was for Roe versus Wade. They said that it was the same kind of logic that was used in the Dred Scott case. So whose side are you going to be on? People who decided the Dred Scott case and Justice Taney? Or are you going to be on the side of Abraham Lincoln? Abraham Lincoln in his inaugural address, his first inaugural said, that decision cannot stand and they actually went on and passed a bill to free the slaves. Are we suggesting that we're going to be held by a Supreme Court that Abraham Lincoln wasn't held by when an unjust, unconstitutional decision is handed down? In my opinion, we cannot be. Is it time, this is from a, um, one of our uh, folks, a voter, is it time to put a woman on the $20 bill, and if so, who? I think Carly's a pretty good choice. I like Carly. There you go. Put Carly on the bill. I thought you were going to say Mrs. Santorum. Well, okay, yeah, now you're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> okay, Mrs. Santorum, Karen, I'm putting you. That, that's, that's what I was thinking, actually. Uh, let's sh shift gears, but do you agree it's time? I, look, I, I think that's, that's certainly appropriate. We have tremendous people, of, of women of great accomplishment. I have no problem putting them on currency. Maybe why is it taking this long? Uh, okay, Fair, uh, do you support the Marketplace Fairness Act from another vo voter, Marketplace Fairness Act, which would require Internet businesses to collect sales taxes? I do not. What is going to happen if this push continues? How do we get across the message that taxing the Internet might actually stifle Well, look, I mean, that, that comes back to, to what we don't need is more government taxes. What we have to do is, is do what I'm suggesting, which is put forth a, a dramatic simplification of the tax code, go to a flat rate, uh, go to a simplified system where you don't have any of the bells and whistles, no, no incentives. You don't need incentives if you have a low flat rate, and that's what we're going to do. I hear, Senator, on my radio show from small business owners who just feel, even at the local level, state level, federal level, overregulated overburden, overtax. Some generational family owners say they wouldn't even start the business today. Have we become anti-business in the United States of, in America? One, and why? One, of, one of the things I've said is everything that President Obama has done with a pen and a phone can be undone on day one with a, with a, with a pen. Uh, I said this four years ago. I would suspend every single executive order, regulation, rules interpretation uh, that cost Americans jobs. Uh, I'd repeal them if, they, uh, if, they, if there was no purpose for them, or I would uh, uh, review them and make them more business friendly and friendly to American workers. This is all about jobs. This is all about creating opportunities for the folks in America who feel that neither party cares about them. Neither party is talking about them. Democrats, all they want to do is give them money. Republicans, you know, all of our emphasis is all about small business. I think small business is great. We need to do things to in, in, encourage small business. But 90% of workers in America don't own or run their own business. They work for a living, and we have to have an idea and a plan and a vision to put them back to work so they can rise too. Senator, you have 30 seconds to address the voters. Uh, as was mentioned, I was a uh, member of the Gang of Seven. Uh, I won my first race uh, in a 60% Democratic district against an incumbent. Second race, 70% Democratic district, uh, took out an incumbent. Third race, in a state of a million more Democrats and Republicans, took out an incumbent. How did I do that? because I was an effective reformer who stood for the people in this country, as I said before, that no one else was standing for. I'm the only person in this race who ran in a presidential year where the president on the ticket lost the state and I won. President Bush lost by four, I won by five. No one has done that. It's hard in a presidential election. In fact, none of these gentlemen, as accomplished as they are, have ever won in a presidential election year, particularly in a tide against you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want a winner, you have to have someone who's going to stand with the American people who has a record of reform and accomplishment to get things done, and I have that record. Thank you, Senator.